I've attended SimGhost now for four years. I enjoy coming to SimGhost. It's more involved with the technical sides, so it's teaching for or training for people who are already in the technical side, but it's also for people who are administration, management and all the other areas and it's a multi-level area. A lot of other conferences on simulation mainly go on about the scenarios or the benefits or the other areas of simulation where this also focuses on the technical and the operational areas. Best part of the event thus far, uh, I would say learning a, a, a lot more about VR and AR. I had no experience in that field. Uh, I know that's something that my university wants to introduce and get, get a little bit more involved in. Uh, and just to know and pick the brains of, of some of these the geniuses that we've got here and to kind of come up with an objective as to why we'll be using AR and VR. So a lot of that stuff, it's, very, it's been a highlight for me because I had no idea what to expect. I haven't really attended any other simulation conferences, but I have attended a number of nursing conferences. And I can tell you that this is so unique and um, it's relatively a small group compared to some of the massive conferences with throngs of people to the point that over two or three days you can actually really get to know people, um, make incredible contacts, get incredible resources and I really value that. The exhibit hall is where I get to meet up with my vendors and actually um, ask them for some help or hear what the latest is. Um, and there's also uh, opportunities to meet new vendors and see some um, devices that maybe you weren't aware of that were out there and, and get small demonstrations. SimGhost is different from other conferences in the fact that it's, it's a more personable um, interaction. There are things geared specifically to what people in simulation technology need to know. And it's, the classes are small enough and, and the family is close-knit enough that we can get a lot more out of it and a lot more quality for time for time spent. The main difference with, um, with SimGhost is that it's, um, it's, it's more at a technical level. Things that they present here are things that are applicable to my daily work life. I've been to many other conferences where they're, they're speaking about medical things and, and research, which doesn't, um, doesn't pertain to what I do. The main difference for, for me to come to a conference like SimGhost is that it's just applicable. I would recommend pretty much anybody uh, attend SimGhost. It's so much bigger than healthcare and IT, but any sort of hospital administrator, college administrator, this would allow them a look behind the curtain, if you will, to kind of understand what goes there. I am a college administrator, but I also have a healthcare background. Not necessarily every college administrator who's making decisions about a simulation lab has that sort of background. And at a conference like this, that would help them see and better realize the needs and the importance of simulation and what we can do if we uh, have a team that works together on it. My favorite activity was, um, there was two. One, learning to mold, uh, a, a cast an actual um, moulage mold. And then the other was learning how to, the, the little extra tricks to make my moulage creations real more realistic. So SimGhost is different from other conferences in that we have an opportunity at, in SimGhost to express what the technology side of it, the, the technologist, is not, the, not necessarily the education part, it considers the bigger picture. So uh, educators as well as technologists have an opportunity to to really interact and focus on what the technology is, what the behind the scenes considerations are to, to make sure that you have a successful simulation program. I would definitely recommend SimGhost to other simulation ch champions because this is where I guess the newest knowledge is coming together, where the bright minds are throwing ideas around and where I guess the impossible is becoming possible. <laughs>